Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to another Requiem video. Now you guys remember my last full body avatars video where I told you guys that you can report them and then I ended up showing you guys this weird avatar upvote feature website thingy. It was a website where you could request what features the full body avatar might have or what you want to see with the full body avatar and the Requiem developers would let you know if it's planned or not. Well, I talked about it and showed you guys inside that video, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at that. When I was looking at this website and checking it out and stuff, they had a few tags talking about things being under consideration, things being planned, not planned, or already done. So in today's video, we're going over them. Hey. 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 Did you? No. I have. Memberships? Of course, you guys know exactly what time it is. Big fat stinky shout out to all my members. I just want to say thank you, Platoon Skates, for joining the Octopus level. That is actually the most expensive level you can choose, so I appreciate the support. That's amazing. Thank you, Platoon. Anyways, big shout out to all my members, Platoon Skates, BBB Burning Owl, Eric OVR, TechSide, Trevor A, Random Person GM, Jack Tutorial, Mr. Raphael RR, Cloud, Netflix69, Box David, and Dozer Blade Cat. Of course, if you guys are a squidling and aren't anything above calamari and stuff like that, I appreciate your guys' support too. Thank you guys for helping out the channel, and let's go into the actual video. Now, what's already done with full body avatars? Starting us first off with the most popular and the first option, the fact that we'll be able to grab things with our hands not disappearing like how they normally do. They're also going to have the option to be able to remove the nose on the full body avatar. They're fixing glove pointing so the full hand gloves won't disappear when you actually point. It's going to be optional, there's body style preference of course, and you will have the ability to see your own full body avatar when you look down. Right, are these already things that are done by the Reckon full body avatar developers, and let's continue on to what exactly is planned. Things that are planned is the fact that we'll be able to make our height adjustable. We'll also have body shape customizing for the full body. They're planning on being able to have us make our own hats and accessories. Full body tracking will work, that's also planned. The ability to be taller, of course, is also planned, and an item to celebrate the release of full body avatars is also planned. Improved animations and making custom boots or shoes to mini outfits are also planned as well, if you guys are curious. But now, what exactly isn't planned? Things that are not planned by the Requiem full body avatar developers are going to be the fact that we can personalize what we see. Legs and arms will not be round like how they are in real life. In case you guys are curious about this personalize what you guys can see and personal avatar display basically means some people just don't want to see the full body avatar inside their whole Requiem experience, so they want an option to just shut that all off. But that isn't planned. Bulges for women's parts and stuff like that aren't planned as well, and the hitbox being the same is not planned. Now with all the suggestions being added all the time and stuff like that, there's a ton of things that are actually under consideration by the Requiem full body avatar developers. 74 things to be quite exact, and it's a long list of them. Like finger tracking, interactive clothing, hair and movement, pants and shoes for quest sets, Full face tracking, toggle ball eye glint, tattoos, tails, piercing, clothing physics, a whole bunch of stuff. Cool things like painted nails, unique skins, long sleeve on royal to bards, class of shirts should be t-shirts, being inclusive, allowing body avatars to use eyebrows and noses, improvement for facial expressions and early access for users, prosthetic limbs, customizing the wristband for the watch, bowling shoes being a cosmetic item, stretch features, bog monster costume, avatar hand tracking, personalities having custom skin tones, haptic feedback, shoe crossovers like Nike Adidas and etc, toggleable arm, leg, and feet visibility for others, backpack for quest, two separate modes of saved outfits for full body avatars and bean modes, UGC custom walk animations, detailed sleeves, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Of course, if you guys are interested or want to make a suggestion for full body avatars, I will have the link to this actual website where I read everything off today down inside the description below. Feel free to check it out, and if you guys are not really a fan of full body avatars, then maybe this website could use your guys' suggestion. Of course, if you guys like this video, feel free to like, and if if you guys don't like the video, whatever option you want to be, either it being full body avatars or being body, whatever you want, you will get the opposite and only stay as that option. Of course, use my code in game by using SK0L or going into my profile and clicking that support button. I greatly do appreciate it, folks. It's all just jokes here. And of course, be sure to subscribe. 